All right, so thank you for coming to this open house. Uh, the idea is to sort of give you a chance to to come in and look around and you know we have someone on hand who's a member of this community so can share uh, her experience uh, about what we do and how it um, how it helps professionally so let's get in I'll share my screen um, yeah so this community are you able to see my screen Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say it is kind of the main, so it's a community that is designed to be supportive of linguists who are out there working uh, in whatever sector they're working. Uh, I designed this space to be a, a support for helping people find that, you know, professional opportunity or to, you know, help support them in that professional opportunity. So we have various uh, discussions of you know issues as they come up these exist in you know just the regular uh, thread we have like this news feed space like you get on Facebook uh, we check in on professional goals and announce upcoming events um, but I think a big part of the um, the life of this group happens in the in the various events that we organize so I'll pop over to the event space. Um, here you see we have, um, well, we're in this open house right now. <laughs> we have weekly work sessions twice a week. And you come in and you work on whatever it is that you're working on. It helps you to sort of hold the space to work towards a professional goal. Um, we do book club discussions and these are chosen to sort of be you know, we've been kind of moving through different kinds of books. Some of them are more about, you know, being uh, being a professional, sort of having uh, larger thoughts about navigating the professional world, trends in the professional world. This book specifically is talking about language. So we thought it would be kind of fun to, to read and look at how people present language and linguistics to you know people who are non-linguists because this is many of us are in this position um, and we have discussions about so this is kind of a, a conversation that's about our community um, the community has sort of been evolving over the years uh, it's been about two years that we've been doing activities and uh, having engagement. So themes are a way, we have monthly themes and that's a, a way that we sort of organize our activities and ourselves. So um, in this conversation, uh, I've just set up kind of an open space for people to drop in and, and talk about ideas that they might have for themes going forward, um, thinking about how these themes could maybe inspire speakers, uh, activities, uh, maybe a book, that we read. Um, we've been having kind of monthly, about once a month we have a speaker. And I, I think a speaker, kind of as we think about speakers going forward, those, those could be informed by themes. But um, I don't know, how about, do we have questions about the community or experience from someone who's in the community? what has been the most valuable or what, what you might be looking for from a community like this? Yeah, I, I'm not sure what, um, I'm, I'm interested in kind of exploring, but I don't know what, you know, whether like if I came with a specific purpose and then I didn't find that purpose, I don't know that I'd necessarily be disappointed. I might find something else useful out of it. So that's why I'm kind of like, I'm open to anything. Um, I really like the the book discussion, and I'm curious about the guest speakers. Like, um, what are some of the topics of the guest speakers? Yeah, and Katie, you recently had a guest speaker that you invited. Uh, I recently yeah. had someone also say that, you know, we, she wanted a speaker about diversity and inclusion work, so I asked her to be on the lookout community members can suggest speakers and I think that's the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how the, 
second to last speaker came about, we had a request of somebody who could talk about public speaking and how to address um, telling people who don't know about linguistics or the, or anything about it, what how do you approach that kind of an audience? So how can we talk about very specialized concepts in two people who don't have that background? And so that was a very helpful um, situation. So I was able to find a linguist who has a background in public speaking, who was able to come and talk. Mm -hmm. And on my end, I appreciate the conversations and the guest speakers because it gives us um, another way of thinking about what we do, um, alternate career paths. Some of us are kind of set with where we are, but then, you know, we're always open and interested to see what's out there. Um, I and find also guest, to share with others. Guest speakers yeah. are the events that I get the kind of people who don't participate in, in much else come. Mm -hmm. So people we haven't seen in a long time show up at a speaker or someone who's joining for the first time. It seems like that's kind of the most straightforward. It's kind of the most similar to what you might think about yeah. when you think about educating yourself about careers. Mm -hmm. So I definitely want to keep those happening on the regular. <laughs> and then over the course of, you know, years, we can start saving these and have these recordings or these database. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, when someone new joins, often people join and they just say, I don't know, I'm, I, I don't know what I could do with my degree. Then we have a handful of things we can point to. Yeah, I also like you know, the conversations about themes and trying to figure out what it is that we would want to talk about or discuss further, which leads to the book clubs on some level. Yeah. You just learn about things you wouldn't necessarily know to look up, for lack of a better term. You know, you get a people with a variety of backgrounds and knowledge and they bring it in and you can learn about different applications for your knowledge or different ways that like you didn't know you could use your linguistics in a certain way or how to talk to a crowd that doesn't have a specialization or like how you can do learn skills for your job or whatever it is. Um, mm. It just provides a sounding board. It's a sounding room, I guess, of mm. people that you can just run ideas by, learn new ideas because they're trying something new and it's just a way to be creative. And put a linguistic lens on okay. it, I think, is the, the, the mm -hmm. key here, is that almost all of us have training in linguistics. Yeah. And those who don't value that lens, and they are interested to hear about it. I think we are able mm -hmm. to, to take that knowledge and put it towards thinking in different domains. And also, it's different areas okay. of linguistics. I, so I have There's a question no one area, similar right? to different areas of linguistics. Yeah. Um, so like my background's in sociolinguistics, but if I'm interested in pursuing sort of, um, you know, like computational methods, because I want to get into that, mm -hmm. is there something in the community for me that would help that? Well, we just had a speaker last week about breaking into tech, and mm -hmm. I hope that he will continue to, to be, you know, when I bring in a speaker, I invite them to kind of stay in the community and he's clicked around a little bit but um i think he would be a, a a resource and want to continue to be a resource for helping people to think about um what they need to know to transition into tech he's putting together online courses and i will definitely be sharing information about those um more so than anything it's creating um a space to ask questions, I think, and to make connections and to meet people. Um, and then, you know, people can see you asking questions to him and everybody can get to see the response that he makes. But like in these ask, in this course of asking and answering, uh, we sort of build community as we go. I also think that the general population really doesn't understand linguistics like what it is that we know in our background and our approach. And so being able to ask those questions of people who understand your background and your knowledge is far more beneficial um, than just asking and, you know, anybody because they can give you very specific information or guidance or viewpoints or whatever it is that is basically more relevant to our knowledge background. Um, 
And that's not saying the rest of the world can't give good advice. It's just saying like having somebody who knows and understands your educational background is so beneficial when you may end up working someplace where other people don't have that. You probably are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop the recording right there. Um, cause that, 